in this lecture we will learn about different types of pointers so like you have int float char etc so which stores different types of variables so we can also have so we must in fact also have different types of pointers because we know that a pointer is a variable that stores the address of variables okay so if it is an integer we must tell that okay it is an integer pointer to an integer and why is that important because we know the size okay the size of variables okay different types of variables are different so size of int can be 4 byte okay it can be 2 byte size of float can be 4 byte okay char can be just 1 byte okay so they are different so now we need the pointers to know that thing that okay you need to you are storing memory location of which one so that's why when you define int i is equal to 5 then i need to store the memory location where 5 is stored i need to do int star iptr which tells me that okay it is a pointer to an integer and so i am storing int ampersand i for float i should write float star f ptr which means now i am storing address of a float variable ampersand j similarly for char cptr is a ampersand c so that is fine and now when you print it so this will give you the addresses of these okay so these variables i j and c and the important thing is that if you have let's say a float of four bytes so it will tell you the first memory location okay so four bytes for that let's say 100 101 102 103 these are the memory locations where your float is stored then it will just give the first memory location address okay so if we try to see this code okay so let's try to see this code and i will just change this to print hexadecimal address okay so let's try to see what is happening so we have address of i is 28ff44 which is an integer 28ff3c is for the float and for character it is 28ff37 so if we try to analyze this and size of integer is 4 in my computer it's float also is 4 bytes and char is 1 so this code when it started so first address earliest address it gave was to character which is 28ff37 so 37 then this character after that what happens it goes to c so 7 8 9 10 and then 10 is a b and c so basically 12 is there so after that many space memory locations it is giving to the float value and from 3c it goes to 44 okay so that's how so a lot of spacings are there between the variables that i defined and you can see so this basically tells us that address so you have to give specific pointers okay for specific type of pointers for storing variables of specific types so that's what is shown here in fact different pointers if i use so can we do the next question is if i have i is something like this which i tried such that this requires more than two bytes okay so int star at least one byte it is more than one byte so int star cptr1 so can i do that for storing the address of this i can i typecast it with char star okay and similarly for float can i do typecast this address to char star and what will happen so in fact it tried this what i expected i was not getting but let's see so i build this code warning it is giving that okay incompatible pointer types so i am doing it here is that for storing the addresses of both the integer and float i am using a 
okay so let's see what i'm doing so let's convert this code a little bit so char star okay and here char star again okay so will this compile let's try to see this thing so this is compiling okay so char star cptr1 and this is i so i is a integer and i'm storing its address in a character pointer similarly there is a float j and i'm storing its address in a character pointer so what will happen now i'm printing the address using cptr1 and the ampersand i so let's try to see this again converting to hexadecimal x so let's try to find and value of integer using cptr1 can we obtain it the integer and float so let's try to see this so address of i using cptr1 is 28ff44 using ptr is also the same it's the starting address so for the character pointer can also store that address of j also it is storing correctly value of integer using cptr1 is 47 so now this is ambiguous okay this is something uh, not very clear because we had in that one in cptr1 what we tried so it was value of integer we stored okay so this is now interesting value of integer using cptr1 we are obtaining is 47 which is of course not correct because we have the value of is 567 uh, and i'm getting now after dereferencing it's 47 float value using cptr2 it was initially 2456 something now it is 000 so why is this happening so this is one very interesting point which will tell you the importance of using pointers okay so what happened here so let's use some red color okay so i so now care if i define care star cpt r1 this automatically tells i am storing address of a character variable okay this directs the compiler okay and similarly for care star cpt r2 so now we have i okay so i is the four byte on this computer okay i'm not good at drawing lines here so but let's try out something four address spaces here and then again four address space here so let's say 105 106 107 and 108 are for this int so cptr1 stores 105 that is fine this gives the correct address still here for ampersand i and ampersand j and let's say this is 2005 2006 7 and 8 so now this is for i and this is for j now what happens is i define both of them as char star cptr1 so this value is correct cptr1 cptr ptr2 because it tells it is the first address location so it can store but when i try to dereference it using c ptr1 then what happens now the compiler inside it will see that okay it is a character pointer and character pointer on this computer is one byte okay so it will simply take 105 was the starting location so it will take this whatever value is there in this it is some bits 8 bits let's say so it will take this and what will it do it will convert this to an char value okay so it will whatever is there it will take only this data one byte of data and it will try to convert it okay star cptr so this will be the problem here and similarly for the float even though it required four bytes it will take just this one byte of data or this one memory location data and it will try to dereference it it will try to find the value of this and in fact it will use the to convert it into some characters or something like that okay and then okay for float also in fact we are using percentage f so it will try to 
convert it to a float and here it will try to convert it to some integer because we have percentage d so these will not work okay because now you have in fact altered the data so this is important that if i am storing a an address of a float then i should make it float star fpt or something because when we are dereferencing it knows that okay it has i am storing the starting memory location but because it is a float take the next four the next three memory locations as well because it is a four byte length okay so that is the importance of using different kinds of pointers okay so i hope you understand this important concept thanks sir